Well, hello once again, and now we are back to Obertiliach, East Tyrol, Austria. Uh, and today we also have the man's uh, long distance, uh, very long way to go for the man's uh, around 20 and 8 kilometers today in this Obertiliach uh, valley. In pretty good uh, weather conditions with sun, with good snow, with low temperatures. Uh, uh, on the start position, on the start line, very experienced, most experienced and uh, most uh, titled. Uh, 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 winter uh, ski of orienteer Edward Frenikov from Russia in 43 years uh, still competing in uh, very high level and uh, are one of uh, the favorites in the long distance which could be uh, more uh, more good for him not uh, as short and courses here uh, till now uh, there are no medals for Frenikov but maybe this time and Lars Mohol from Norway uh, are heading for Probably a third for triple double uh, gold here in Obertiliach, uh, the winner uh, uh, both in the sprint and uh, middle uh, courses are in very good shape and starting uh, already behind uh, Krenichov, two minutes behind the next starter. Then followed by uh, Russia's Andrei Lamov, uh, mixed sprint relay winner, uh, silver medalist uh, also in uh, sprint. Uh, here in Obertiliach uh, and also silver in the middle course and then uh, come from Sweden uh, year 2016 World Cup uh, winner here the bronze medal in the middle course but maybe not that good that probably uh, could uh, everybody think after the very good start in the World Cup round second and here the world ranking leader from uh, Bulgaria Stanimir Belamajev long horse winner in European Ski Orienteering Championship in uh, year 2014 those are favorites uh, clear favorites in today's long course and now we see how Stanimir uh, Belomaze, which also uh, did uh, pretty bad here uh, till the long distance uh, today, there was some uh, crazy things, some broken uh, pools, etc. Now uh, again the ski camera uh, following Lars Mohol, two-time gold winner here. Uh, passing the control very fast without stopping, without reading, are uh, pretty sure and confident. Uh, on his way into this uh, narrowed part of uh, the course in the first uh, loop of um, long distance followed by Eric Krost from Sweden World Cup winner this year and we could see some maybe difference a little more slower and also uh, the Stalimir Belomajev must read the map uh, straightly after the passing control. That means not so confident with uh, his self. Uh. And now let's take a look into the, the GPS tracking uh, in, uh, into the first uh, part of the course. Uh, Stanimir Belomajev uh, chooses more uh, steepy, uh, steepy route, uh, so uh, lost some time. But the Lash Mohod made a very good shortcut and are in the clear lead after uh, this part of course, first critical part of course, and uh, for sure as in leader, the Lash Mohod passes the arena after the first loop and now the following is second one uh, not so long uh, and uh, with very open roads in the field so that means very uh, very good uh, physics uh, will be uh, will be necessary for uh, the last part of the course uh, what a speed here we saw as how the racers are crossing onto the different uh, directions and again ski camera are trying to catch catch up Lash Mohol two-time gold winner here and it's really uh, really uh, a tough uh, tough solution uh, to get back the leader of uh, the current long distance and we see how uh, already um, tired looks Stanimir Belomazev from Bulgaria not so fresh as Lash Mohol was a uh, while before and uh, we saw that also the map uh, reading takes some time from um, uh, from uh, Stanimir Belomajev. And now again uh, the GPS tracking. Uh, Stanimir Belomajev uh, chooses better uh, route choice and comes closer to Edward Hrenikov and probably will still. Uh, 
be able to fight for the silver position. But uh, Lash Mohor are in very safe and clear lead and now are already close to the finish and are heading for uh, his triple double, first triple double here in the uh, European Ski Orienting Championship in the uh, last 10 years before it was made by Thomas Lovgren from Sweden. Now uh, the Norwegian uh, Lash Mohor could repeat this in the last 10 years. What a performance, what impressive performance here in Obertiliach after gold in the sprint and in the middle uh, Lash Mohod will add the uh, gold medal in a uh, long distance also. Very extreme performance from Lash Mohod. Congratulations. Uh, a little later uh, we will see that uh, Edward Hrnikov also will reach the finish in pretty good position probably. Yeah, probably uh, first medal also for him uh, here in Obertiliach are earned. And now we see how Lars Mohold looks uh, pretty tired, but not so exhausted. Edward Hrnikov in 43 years, again, uh, another medal in uh, uh, such a high level. Now silver medal. Uh, Stanimir Belomazhev uh, comes closer, but uh, not be able to overtake in uh, 43 years old Russian which uh, uh, looks, uh, yeah, looks this time tired, but uh, I think pretty happy again uh, to earn uh, another medal. Stanibir Belomaja from Bulgaria. Uh, till now, without the medals here and with a lot of disappointments in previous races, now are very close, uh, finally, to get to the podium. And this time it will be the bronze medal in the long distance here in Obertiliach. Stanimir Belomaja finishes and afterwards we will hear some very interesting interviews. The, the, I think that your performance will be actually not 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 much uh, uh, not uh, as uh, I think the same as you did in the middle course. Yeah, it's a totally different race. This is skiing alone, fighting all the time. In the in the middle, I have more more uh, control over the others are since it was must start. Yeah, I mean, just your performance. I think that's good, great actually today. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I, I know I made one bad route choice, but uh, otherwise it just uh, went fine. And I think the last loop uh, after we passed the arena here was uh, really good. I think I felt really strong there. Well, it it it, it uh, will be enough for for triple double, as we say. Uh, yeah, it sounds like that. I didn't know anything before uh, coming to the to the finish line here since I. Uh, I was starting quite early of the of the in the red group. Well, um, tomorrow, anyway, uh, have it finishes today. I, I wish you all for sure the gold medal. Uh, tomorrow, the real the Norway team uh, are maybe not that strong that some years, some different years. But uh, I hope and we hope that you will start in the team. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, Quite many in our team has retired after last season, so we perhaps don't have so strong team as last year, but. My shape is really good, and it looks like the two others on the team is also at their best shape now. So I think I think we will give uh, the other teams a really hard fight tomorrow. I hope so. It's, it's pity you can you cannot go two times maybe in the real life. No, we have other strong guys, so uh, okay. I it, 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 I don't need to ski two times for sure. And it's time to look into the final standings of the man long distance. Lars Mohold, with this uh, uh, really impressive performance, earns uh, third gold medals in one week, followed by Eduard Krenikov uh, on uh, silver podium, and Sunny Belomazhev completes the uh, medal list with bronze medal here in Obertiliach. Thank you very much for, for watching, and uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye.